We're gonna be checking the positive terminal as well as replacing IBS, intelligent battery sensor, which is sitting on the negative terminal, which is disconnected right now. I'm not gonna be touching it yet because I was working with the fuse box. For that video, I'll link in the description below, but I will check the B plus terminal behind the fuse box. It did look okay. For right now, we're gonna remove the black plastic right here. So first, what we wanted to do is basically pop that piece of plastic right here uh, it goes from the little notch, they're like a notch for a pin tool or a flathead, and there are Phillip head screws, uh, and this stuff is located on both sides, passenger and the driver. Also, we have four pins, uh, double action. I'll remove one and show you how it looked like. They kind of, uh, this style. So remove four of those. One more thing, it's a rubber weather seal gasket is that thing is shot underneath as far for this corner we have one pin which is definitely going to be easier okay now we have our negative terminal right here okay so as far as that being removed we wanted to disconnect the sensor god damn it do it also, some of the models not gonna have that little connector right here. It's gonna be straight line to the sensor. In that case, you're gonna need that connector after all. Same type of connector, make sure it's going to fit. It did, it perfect. New wire. Make sure the connection are clean. You can spray the electric cleaner for that piece right there. Just, you know, a little blast. I'm using the WD-40 connector uh, cleaner. Don't go too crazy, but make sure it's not. So at this stage, I wanted to remove that fuse right here and make sure that everything is intact. It's uh, as it should be. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to double check and be sure that is no uh, missing or loose connection or any rust or like uh, oxidation or so. And with that, we need to remove that bracket right here. That's two 10 mil screws. Make sure to hold that screw right here because if it's gonna fall down, you're gonna need to remove the battery after all. If you wanted to simply see what is inside. Okay, so I'll show you in a second how to undo it. Basically, there's that little tab that you kind of pull it and the other one will unlock. Everything looks just as it should. There are another connector right here, sparkling shiny. It has some sort of oxidation right here, but I don't think it's anything major. And it's tight. A little bit of the electric cleaner in there. It's gonna eat the oxidation, but I don't think it's gonna do anything because up to me, everything looks perfect. Now it's turn for our negative terminal. And that piece also connected all the way down. Type it up. Good, very good.